Okay, yeah, this is Michael from NCY Store. We're probably gonna finish off where we left off in the CVT cover. Um, I forgot that we're gonna put the back plate of the ankle by there, so we normally will probably have to take our 17 millimeter uh, bolt back on. Uh, now this one right here, we probably need to scrape up a little bit, just get the leftover remaining of the gasket from our base gasket. So I'm just gonna take a little scotch bright and just go over it. Again, this will be pretty much um, sealed off with the gasket. So we shouldn't have any problem with all. We'll probably get the copper gasket on there. And then clean out a little bit there. Gasket there. Yeah, it's also, also put some new bolts on here, the 17 miller bolts. These look like they're kind of worn out a little bit. It's kind of almost getting borderline stripping. They're, they're pretty tough bolts. So, so we'll replace these with our uh, 17 millimeter. They're M12 by 1.25 thread, just like the normal, uh, all the other screw bolts that we have. They're usually one point. 25 millimeter thread size so let me go ahead and get underneath this real quick and today we're probably going to work on uh, drilling the hole so we can actually put our handlebar i'm thinking of maybe sanding it down to get a little bit more visual of where we need to actually drill our new hole at you can see here so it's, it's kind of clagged on there but that's fine and we can take a little bit of sandpaper and kind of smoothen it out so let me do that right now probably take a you know, higher number and we'll work our way down. I got some multi-purpose here, three level sandpaper. <clears throat> so there we go, we got, we got 100. Okay, 100 is probably the lowest one we have. Then 150, the higher the number, the thicker the grains are. And then we have the highest one, probably 220. You see here, comparable. Actually, the higher the number, I'm sorry, the more finer it is. Always the reverse, I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, so the lower the number, the more grittier it is. So 100 is actually our thickest one. And then we got the lowest one is right there, right at 220. You can see how much more finer it is. So this is it. This is the one we're probably going to take over. So let me get a piece of that and we'll get started on it a little bit. And then I'll show you how the cylinder heads are being soaked right now. Probably work on that a little bit later. Okay, just get a little piece. We can even square it out, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're gonna go after this guy right here. Try not to get all the other paint off because we don't want to really rub off the paint that's protecting it from rust. No, not bad. It gets a little dusty. It's not bad, actually it's coming off pretty well. Also, you could take it with a little block or something like that. Help you get into the fine edges a little bit. Get resolution on this. Seems like the best resolution I can get. But yeah, it's coming off quite nicely. But uh, <clears throat> dude, I don't want to get to the other ones that doesn't need to be, so let me fold this up a little bit better. And we'll work on uh, all these little round edges. Okay, so here we go. It's kind of like squared away like this. And we're just gonna work where the JB weld is. We don't wanna rub any more of the paint off the metal because we don't wanna get some rust on there. So that's what we're working on. We're working on probably putting our front uh, thing back on because I believe this is sealed already, but we're also gonna change out the throttle cable now because currently right now it's using this, they call it the um, CVK throttle cable and we need to switch that out to the PWK so I think this whole thing works here as it comes out we'll have to unbolt this and I believe the cable should slip out accordingly but we'll figure it out that way we can put the blue cable have it all preset ready to go so when we mount our PWK it'll be right there ready okay so you can see here it easily sands off and getting shape now and just be careful I don't want to sand more deep into it so I think it's just a thin layer still. You can see in there, if it's protruding out a little bit. See some of the, when we took out our plastic wrapper. So maybe we can see it a little better on this side too. See that? If it was a little bit more flatter, it'd be great. But it's not, so it might actually, so we gotta be really careful. We don't need it to have strength. We just need to make sure it keeps its shape when we actually put our, our teeth from our handlebars in there. 
Okay. There <clears throat> we go. Yeah. Stands out very easily. Okay. Same thing when you poke a hole through it, it's gonna be very easy to poke a hole, especially when you have a center punch and the right grill bit. There we go. Now it looks much better. Perfect. There we go. Sort of our smoother, smoother, smoother. See here, it still has a little bit gap here and there. There we go. Yeah, and then we'll hit this uh, before we, probably after we drill it, we'll just go ahead and hit it with a pair of enamel. That way we get the black back on there. Yeah, and this, the whole purpose of this is to get our mirror aligned right so we can see it correctly. I don't know why they come like that. And then over time, they kind of wear out where they come forward and the mirror makes no good point. There we go. So we can see our first hole right there. So we'll probably go in between it, like, like right in the middle. Let's go and work on this side now. See, this one's still tagged in there. You can see a little bit here after we sand it down a little bit. Yeah, all you need is a little bit of sandpaper to it. Get in there, huh? There we go, it's smoothing out. Let's open the bottom. We might not have to worry about changing the sandpaper. I think it should be fine like this. It's pretty smooth. It's not going to be riding around it anyway, so it's just going to be there to fill in that teeth. That's the main purpose of putting it on here. Wow, there we go. Fill in all the gaps and stuff like that. All right, so this one's ready to go too. Again, we're gonna go ahead and we get a chance to we'll center punch everything. We'll see how it looks. Not the best lighting here. You can see it's smoother now for what it didn't have. <laughs> there we go. Much more smoother. Yep. Same with this one. It's just smoother. We can see where the first original hole is indented. And then we're just going to go in between it. Or maybe, yeah, because this one's way too down. Uh, we tried that last time, so we're going to go right there. Probably like right on the edge of it. Just to make sure it stabilizes there. Same thing with this one. Probably going to put our mark right there. It's great about a center punch. You can mark it exactly where you want it to, and then it will follow you. <clears throat> I'm thinking of almost bringing this a little bit more in more because I think the sleeve right here sticks out a little bit too much more the throttle sleeve so we might need to do that as well but let's go and take a look at what we're done cleaning up so far where is that M3 scrap there it goes not M3 just got sprite 
gonna take this one back and try to finish this guy. We might even put some of that spray on the engine degreaser. Careful, you don't want to get into your engine oil. There we go. Probably a little bit on there. Scotch bright. That's it. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and give it a rub. It's kind of like a gel base. Then we want to wipe it really clean out and then wipe this area. I did wash this array, I reused it. <clears throat> Probably finish the whole project or reuse it again, the Scotch Bright. Try to get all that gunk out of there from the old gasket sealed. See how it does the one that we left overnight on the cylinder head to finish it off. That one's a little dirty there. A good scrub. Okay. A little crooked area there. And wipe it off with a clean paper towel. Fortunately, we can't just take this and dip it in gasoline because there's still oil in there. area okay this should be good enough and everything else the imperfection stuff uh, our gasket new gasket seal will be able to fill that in that we put the the copper spray on top of the, the gasket that should take care of that imperfection <clears throat> all right so let's go and take a look over there what we were working on the other early time Oh, I also put some in our spark plug too, you can see here. I thought I might as well clean the spark plug as well, because how bad of a situation it is. See here, spark plug. There we go. <laughs> then you got the other end right there. All right, be careful though, you don't want to change your, your gauge of your spark plug. So if you're going to do this, just Pull it gently, but make sure you're not driving anything or the threads in. Just wiping it out. There you go. Looks a little bit more cleaner. This should be pretty easy. Just kind of take that in there and just twirl it. Let the Scotch Bright do the work. There you go. That way, all the dirt and stuff won't prevent you from having that good contacts. There we go. Almost settled there. You want to make sure you get all that out. Again, you don't want to push on the pin. You just want to go over it. You don't want to regap this. All right, it's getting clean. Just kind of let it sit in there for a while. There it is. And you can dip it in a little gasoline to the wash it out. Gasoline's not gonna hurt your spark plug because it normally has gasoline, but it amounts to it anyway. Okay. Just shake it in there. See, I'm just shaking the, the tip in there. You wanna get off that little gel ga gunk in there. Gasoline will vaporize and dry up anyway. All right. 
uh, there's our gunk here that we left overnight. You can see here how much more better the, the piston looks. I uh, can't wait to wipe it out. Okay, and then we're gonna do another dip on the other side for gasoline, there we go. And we'll get like a little shop drag. Leave this right here for a second. Let's go and continue scrubbing. <clears throat> okay, I also did a little bit of gel on here as well. So let me go and try to take that one guy off too. This is for our intake manifold. Scrub it all, especially near the rubber area. It's supposed to help with any bake on. I got easy oven off too coming. So if this doesn't really get the way we want it to, we can also on top of that use easy oven off. Careful with gasoline in the rubber part. Even though this does allow gasoline to mix in like that, it doesn't have direct exposure to all that gas. But we still need to clean it really well thoroughly. Okay. Excellent. Get that out of the other end too. Give it a nice clean rod and soak it up with some gasoline. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this did. I sprayed some on here and just left it on there. Hopefully we get all that big ugly gunk out of the way. Let's go and put this down and see if we can give it a good scrub down again. I think it's pretty much all out. Just a little baked on there. Almost good as new actually. Not even better. <laughs> It almost looked like it wasn't savageable. There we go. Get that all in there. This is not so much matters, it just pretty much covers uh, from the uh, cylinder um, crankcase. The, what matters is actually making sure you don't scrape inside here. <clears throat> That's the most critical one. Okay, we're going to disassemble our piston rings too. Give them a good soak. Make sure, let's go and pop this guy out. Or can we pop him out? Okay, we'll give him a scrub again. We'll use this whole surface here. Look like this is probably the best it's gonna get unless we wire brush it some more. But I think this is good enough. The minute it hits that spark and gas mixture, it's gonna create the carbon buildup anyway. Alright. So that's good. And we'll re-clock the piston and everything else. That'll come when we start assembling it all in there. Oh, be really careful with this thing. Get the kids scrub down. Okay, this is good, ready to go. We can leave this alone. We're gonna go ahead and just soak it in. We'll leave it soak in, then we'll take out the piston afterwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the other guy out here that we had soaked overnight. Let's see how this looks. Do you remember this guy? I put the kickstand stuff in there too because we're not going to be using that for a while. I just want to go and clean up all the grease. There we go. Look at him. Soaked in there. It's not going to do much for us yet. So let's go ahead and scrub him out. Okay, kickstands up there all clean. See, so it takes all the grease out and everything. We're not gonna be using this no more uh, for a while. Anyways, careful there's a little bolt that holds on the spring. It's already taken off and clean, but it's 
it was attached to that one right there, the little sprocket. So all the other stuff, I'm trying to get all the majority of the parts out. Okay, let's give this one a scrub. Let me go get some gloves on. I can feel that gasoline burning me. Okay, got some gloves on. Let's go ahead and give this one a scrub and see how much we can take out of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, the only way we can get this to shine is probably get a wire brush. Have it spin off there or else we'll be scrubbing like this for a while. See it's coming off the carbon. This takes a little bit more time. We could have done this and then broke it in there and then put in a gasoline. It's coming off. Look at that. All that carbon filled up. Well, that's doing this. Let's go and soak this guy back in here. Give him another gasoline bath. Gasoline is kind of vaporizing. You can see it's, it's getting lower and lower in water. Low, low in fluid, I mean. All right. There we go. Right. Gotta get scrubbed thoroughly there like that. Got some serious stuff. Car build up. Baked on grease. Okay, we got that one pretty good. Now let's go and grab the other side. Right here where the exhaust is most pitch black. We'll shove our scotch bright tape in there and give it a twirl. There we go, how's that look? Put that in there as well. Shut in there. Okay, you can almost see it's almost coming from this side right here. That was good that we took out the valves. We won't interfere with our scrubbing. Okay, if you take a wire brush or even you have like one of those sand machines, put them in there. That will probably take this out. No sweat, especially in the corners like these where it's so hard to get in. Yeah, what do they call them? The little sandbox. Set, take it on the sand gun. But we're doing it just, just by hand, but it's not bad at all, actually. It's definitely doable now. And carbon build up, especially from the exhaust side. You can see how much more darker it is compared to the intake. Stuff that in there again. All right. Just 
give it a twist, huh? Yeah, this scotch bright is probably gonna be thrown away after all this setup. So you probably have to get rid of one scotch bright. Five dollars in gasoline if you're in California. Those are probably what it's going to take to clean this. Actually, probably less than that. I think this was still only like, well, it was pretty full, so I assume it's probably like a gallon and a half at least of what gasoline we used to clean this at three forty-nine a gallon. So you're spending about four four dollars. That gasoline is good. So now I should get it back off. There we go, look at that car build up. See, it's hard to get into the little critical area, but we'll try to do our best. Whatever's remaining, we'll just keep with that. Probably leave this guy soaking a little bit longer too. Maybe give him that, that spray one last time and just leave it in there see how it does but this part right here we can definitely get control of get it all nice and polished put, my, put some elbow grease in it the muscle So we're gonna do this is soak this in gasoline for a little bit. Get the other guy out. Let's see how this how this guy looking now. It's like a back and forth process of scrubbing, scraping, and bathing. Yeah, it does take some work to clean it. Okay, let's get the other side. Only because we don't have full tank of gasoline. To submerge it in like this. We'll do it little by little like that. Okay, also want to pop them out and try to get uh, into the wrist pins, I mean into the... Wow, this is tight. Never seen it so tight. I come out the other way, I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to get this all taken off. I don't want to take it off yet because we can clean it right afterwards. Just you know, it's still pretty loose in there where it can get into the... I don't know, I'll put it all over there. Okay, this is the last submerge for it. Then we're going to wipe everything down. There we go. Put that in our can. Last submerge. All right, there you go. You can see a little bit of copper gray still in there. So let me try it. See if I hit it just one more time. Try it. Okay, I can get out a little bit more. Then we're going to do a submerge it one last time. build up there okay let's go and submerge it while it looks pretty nice still looks very new almost a little bit better than new <laughs> i think we might clean out all the imperfection i was surprised i couldn't get any of those little corner areas there so let me try it again no oh, not bad it is coming off see so if you keep working at it you'll get it that one's the that one's the most darkest one. That now is really nice.
Here we go. All right, let's go give this one last submerge for certain. Give it a twirl. Then we're gonna wipe it clean. That's our final the piston. Not bad, huh? As good as new. Imagine. Could got a little bit more of this guy in there. But this one's pretty clean. Gave it a good thorough scrub. So this is ready to get wiped down and reassembled. Let me see if I can still I'm always try and aim for perfection. And try to get all that little black area out. See if I get a clean part of my rag. Just really work that that little end in area. It's got a little bit more come out. Every discipline effort, there's always a multiple reward. There we go. This guy's not so bad. The intake's not so bad as the exhaust that takes most of the car build up because I guess maybe gravity flows downward. All right. All right, for sure is the final bath. All right. Thank goodness for these gloves. These things, gasoline will dry your hand oil. Okay. Let's a little more spark plug just to make sure. Thoroughly clean there. All right, we're gonna submerge intake as well. I have to submerge the whole thing, unfortunately, because I think I sprayed some of that gel in there. So I don't want that gel to cling off, goes into our engine. Starting to get all these parts. Okay, I'm gonna get this all cleaned out. 